Hi, I'm Philip. This is a common situation. I already have some transparent PLA filament in the hot end, but since Pokemon is all the rage these days, I want to switch to some nice bright pink PLA. So let's look at how to unload filament out of the jelly box and load new filament into it. For both loading and unloading, you need to heat up the nozzle to at least the melting temperature of the material you're using. For PLA, use between 210 and 220 degrees Celsius. Once the temperature is reached, release the filament feeder by pressing on the top of the feeder arm and pull the filament out with your bare hand. And that's it! Do not forget to secure the filament on the spool. That's what these little holes are for. If you don't, the filament will sooner or later cross itself, tangle, and it will mess up your prints. Here's a mnemonic for you. ASS. Always secure spools. Now, let's load the new filament. Just like when unloading filament, the nozzle needs to be heated up. Ours is still hot from the previous step. A good habit is to visually inspect the drive gear to see if any stray pieces of filament got caught up in there and clean as needed with your pointed tweezers or a titanium toothpick. Yes, that's a thing. Start by cutting the new filament at about a 45 degree angle with your snips, also known as precision cutters. Then, route the filament through the filament guide and load the filament into the extruder. Push it all the way in until you can see the filament being extruded out of orifice in the nozzle. Finally, lock the feeder. Press on the feeder arm and secure the latch on the bottom. And you're done! Go ahead and maybe print something. <laughs>